Hi, welcome to Galactic Jamie. I'm Jamie. Each week I come on here to talk about outer space <laughs> and something new I'm trying with my nails, whether that's new nail art, new nail designs, or just new polishes that I'm swatching and reviewing. So if you're a super space nerd like me, or if you love nail polish, go ahead and hit the subscribe button right now so you don't miss any of my videos. So I'm sure you've heard of black holes, whether that's in movies, TV shows, or just the general phrase, you know, wherever you would hear that phrase. Um, but I was wondering recently, what is a black hole? So that's something I decided I wanted to research more and find out more about. So I'd love to share what I found out with you guys this week. Black holes are basically just an area in space with such strong gravity that it just sucks everything nearby in. Nothing can escape from a black hole. I mean, it's crazy. So they believe, by they, I mean scientists, they believe that black holes form when a massive star collapses and then the, ma the massive star that's collapsed, it starts eating everything nearby, other stars um, and just other space stuff out there. It just sucks everything nearby in. So all I can think of is like a giant black Pac-Man just like, Burp, there's another star, Burp, there's another star just eating the stars out there or even like Kirby, just like <sighs> as everything comes into the black hole, as other black holes merge with that black hole, it starts to become a super massive black hole. And it's believed that most galaxies at the center of their galaxy, that those are black holes as well. So the first prediction of a black hole was by Albert Einstein back in 1916. And he predicted basically the existence of black holes when he came up with his theory of relativity. Um, and then the, like the term black hole wasn't even coined until 1967. And the first black hole wasn't even spotted until 1971. So what's really cool though, is in 2019, we got the first ever recorded image of a black hole. So I'm gonna post a picture of it. This was captured by the Event Horizon Telescope. This black hole is the center of the elliptical galaxy M87. It is 6.5 billion times the mass of our sun. Like, it is freaking huge. Oh my goodness. So, I know this image doesn't really look like much, but it's a huge, huge, huge thing for the scientific community. It opens the doors to so much research and just learning about black holes and things we haven't been able to see or learn about before. So this is really an incredible image to see and it's amazing that we get to see this today. So like I said, this image really opens the door to like a lot of scientific progress and research. And I'm super, super stoked to see like what we're gonna be seeing in the next few years, the next few decades, and really see like more of the research on black holes and what they are and how they form, all that interesting stuff. So anyways, let's get to the nail part of the video. Today, I'm going to be reviewing Live Love Polish's Mystery and Horror Collection. So keep watching. I start all of my swatches and manicures with a clean, dry nail and base coat. Today, I'm using the Orly Bonder base coat. The first polish I'm swatching from the Live Love Polishes Mystery and Horror Collection is Dream Within a Dream. This is such a beautiful polish. So its base is a purple matte polish with red, violet, and blue shimmers throughout. It is such a beautiful color, and as you can tell, as it dries, it just, it just blossoms. Like, it just completely changes the look once it's dry, and it's so stunning. Um, I think they did a great job on this formula and it doesn't need a top coat, but you could add a matte top coat or even add a shiny top coat and it will be a completely different look. All of these polishes will create a completely different look if you add a shiny top coat on top or you could just leave it matte, which I think is so cool looking. The next polish I swatched was Telltale Heart and um, this is actually one of my favorite Edgar Allan Poe stories. Uh, some say he could still hear the heart beating beneath the floorboards. <laughs> but anyways, this polish has a magenta red matte polish with red, violet, and blue shimmers throughout. Um, this one really needs two coats to get the full opacity, but I think it's so gorgeous. Um, and just like the other one, it dries matte and just really cool, unique um, look. 
I haven't really seen too many polishes that look like this, especially this specific color. Um, I don't really see a lot of magenta jelly polishes that dry matte like this. I think it's absolutely stunning. Next up is Raven, which is a matte black polish with purple and pink shimmers throughout. This one is super unique. Um, I'm gonna try to get a photo of this one in sunlight at some point because it's just so interesting in different lighting. You'll see once it dries, it just, it looks really, it's incredibly matte. I mean, they did a great job with the matte formula, but um, the shimmers look really cool in different lighting. I think it's also really neat to watch the polish dry from being the wet when you first put it on to being matte. Um, I just think it's really neat. Sorry for the mess today. I got a little carried away with this one. I always clean up in between each layer of polish so it gives a nice finish. Um, I think this polish is absolutely beautiful. They did such a great job on it. So last but not least is the polish Rue Morgue. This is actually my favorite polish in this collection. I was completely blown away by this polish. Um, it's a blue matte polish with red, violet, and blue shimmers throughout. And I think when it dries, it looks like blue velvet. It is so beautiful. I cannot get enough of this color right here. I am super impressed by this mystery and horror collection by Live Love Polish. I think they've done a fantastic job on all of these uh, nail polishes. So I have to say, I really love these polishes. Now I wish there was like a slightly wider brush, but it's not make it or break it for me. I actually still really enjoyed the polishes themselves. I feel like they went on really well and um, they dried really matte, which was so cool to see. I've never really worked with matte polishes too much. I've used matte top coats, but like the actual polishes that are matte, I haven't used too much. So it was a new experience for me and I really liked it. Um, also, the fact that Live Love Polish named these polishes after Edgar Allan Poe's stories that is so freaking cool. I love Edgar Allan Poe. So to be able to put on a nail polish that is named after one of his stories, I just think it's fun and it's cool to do. So if you enjoyed today's video, please hit the like button and go ahead and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any more of my videos. I hope you all have a stellar week and make sure not to get too close to any black holes. Bye.